you have any particular story about Jim Cornette that... Uh... Oh man, there's a bunch. Uh, yeah, I can tell some of them, they're not too bad. Yeah. Uh, the first time I worked on Ohio Valley Wrestling Television, that, that TV was uh, actually well, it had like good ratings. It was watched a lot in that area. It was on the WB Network. It would air on Saturday nights, we'd tape on Wednesdays. I had to, I was Big Bad John, and I was like an enforcer for a group of heels. And I had to do, a, I did a run-in where I was going to beat somebody up. And basically they'd already been beat up by people in my group, but I was just supposed to just lay it on them. Yeah. And I guess, you know, I was nervous. It might have been my first time on TV. And uh, Jim, you know, that, that building, the original OVW training center was like in a hundred year old building, you know, literally it was like much, not much bigger than this room. Yeah. But that was like a lot of tradition, but he asked me to come out in the back of the building and uh, his car was there. And he's like, when you run out there to do a beat down on somebody, you know, and he was mad at me, but he was passionate, you know. He says, you gotta really let, and like, you gotta make it look real. And he started kicking his car, like, with his shoes, like, in the front, all the yeah. bumper and plastic. You know, he's like, and you, know, and you gotta make it look real, especially as big as you are. You know, if you do anything that looks bad or not believable, it's over-amplified because you're already big, you know. So he, he went off on me that way, but it was, it was love, you know. He's uh, damaging his own car, he was so passionate. Yeah, yeah. Cornette would tear up a lot of stuff. He, I mean, he lives and breathes wrestling, and you gotta respect that man. You know, he's always been really good to me, and I think he's developed so many good people. And I mean, he loves what he does, and he's passionate, and you can't, you can't fault somebody for that.